Hey guys, so today I will be doing a review slash first impressions on the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. This one right here. And I will be giving my first impressions. It is the first time using it. It did take me a bit of a while to kind of hop on, hop on that bandwagon. But I finally got around to getting one. I had to go all the way to the Morphe store because online no sold out. So I hope you guys do enjoy this little tutorial that I have going on for you guys. Uh, it is a little bit different than what you'll normally be used to. But something definitely different and fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I would love to see if you guys do recreate this cut crease. And hashtag me at Makeup by Cari BM. So basically the same name, just hashtag on Instagram. And I can go ahead and see if you guys do recreate this look and if you guys like it. If you do have any other requests or looks, just go ahead and comment down below. And I will see you at the end. Enjoy this tutorial and let's move on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I already have my base on, as you could see. And I wanted to do my first impressions, and I guess you could say review, of the... Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know if you could see that. So basically, I went to the Morphe store and I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I'm kind of a little bit late on the bandwagon, but I finally got my hands on it. And I'm kind of excited, I'm not going to lie, because it has a variety of worn tones. Variety of worn tones. Variety of worn tones, which are my favorite. So that's basically what it looks like. Um, it has a touch of colors right here, and the rest are like, I feel like are warm tones, which is like right on the dot with all the colors that I personally like. It's like, sometimes I'll try and use cool tones, but Lord knows, it just does not happen with me, you know? So I'm actually really excited for this palette, and I am praying deep down um, that they are blendable and they're hella pigmented because this would be like the best fucking palette for anybody to get. For whether it's beginners, whether it's people that are more advanced already, because it has that touch of color and it has those browns. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, for today, I want to go ahead and create a look. Um, I was thinking of something maybe not official, like extremely towards the brown family, because I want to go ahead and use at least a bit of pop of color or of any of these colors. So, I, what I'm thinking is I'll probably like work a little bit with a little bit of green just something that you don't because I've seen a lot of reviews on the palette and I just see I just see like bronzy look which I get because it has all these bronzy colors you know but I just don't want to do something that's exactly the same as everyone else's so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and go in first with a bit obviously as a transition color um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this color right here on the corner since it's just a transition color I'm gonna just go in with this um, Angel Merino X Morphe AC58 brush. So this was a part of the Angel Merino uh, Mac Daddy collaboration with Morphe for his brush set. So going in, okay, so clearly I could see, so I could clearly see that they do have a bit of fallout, I'm not gonna lie, tapping out the excess. And I'm just gonna use this as a transition color and I'm gonna place it directly on my crease and work it a little bit up so slowly work it up so off the bat, I could tell that this orange color, or maybe because I'm tapping out a lot of it, it's not the most pigmented I've seen. I feel like, um, I feel like I should keep on adding more. That's what I feel like. I just feel like I'm going in and I feel like I'm kind of losing that color. So right off the bat, I could tell that it's not the most, most, most hella pigmented, but it's... Good, a good amount still stays on the brush, so we could see it's right there. It's blending out pretty well, which is good. 
pretty good. Basically, all I'm doing right here is just grabbing a clean brush and blending out the edges. Now on to the next step. So what I'm seeing more is that you have to be a bit more generous with the product um, because it does re it, it is blending out very nicely, but it's very sheer, like the color wise. The pigmentation of it, it's definitely buildable, definitely, but it will take you a bit to build it. Or at least to the color that I was kind of expecting off from seeing the pan, I was expecting a bit more, you know, like pigmentation, but it's good though, it's good. It's not like, oh my God, it doesn't have nothing. The good part is that it is blending. So then that means that it's gonna work very swell with, with other colors over it. So I'm just going in, circular motions, just blending this out. And I am going directly into the crease, but as I'm in the crease, I'm also blending it a little bit higher to have it, it's used as a transition color, but I will also have another crease color. So I just want it basically to play peekaboo over it. But I'm not even gonna lie, I kind of was expecting something a bit stronger. You know what, I'm gonna just try. I'm gonna try and just get it and tap a little bit out and see how that works. Or is it maybe the brush? I don't know. So far. Mm. I'm not loving it. But I'm not hating it either, you know? I just feel like it's, it's definitely buildable. So we're gonna go ahead and use this shade. It's like right next to the bright orange one. So not this one, but this one right here. And I will be going in with a Dose of Colors blending brush. So they all do have a good amount of like fallout, I guess you could say. I don't know if you could notice. And now let's see how well this goes. I'm kind of liking this color a bit more. And I'm just blending that out and windshield wiper motions. It's nice, it's nice. Definitely blends in very seamlessly with the orange shade, with my transition shade. It is blending in like a butter. Looks nice. So I'm feeling this shade. Okay, it's making me feel, it's making me feel a little bit better about this palette since the first shade. It didn't let me down, but yeah, it let me a little bit down. <laughs> So this one is definitely giving me better vibes. It's blending seamlessly, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I could tell this is gonna be my new favorite crease color, like, definitely. It's nice. It definitely made up for the first shade. Cause yeah, I'm building it up, but it, I feel like it didn't take me as much as it did to build up the first one. So I'm definitely feeling it a lot. I feel like I've already said that like three million times, but I am feeling it a lot more than the other shade. Ain't even gonna lie. So I actually was kind of indecisive of what exactly I should do as my look for this video, but I was kind of leaning more towards a cut crease. Um, I think it might be the first time I do one on my channel, so I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick a darker color to deepen in the crease. So I'm actually gonna be going in with this one right here. Oh, sorry. This one right here. And I'm just gonna use that same Dose of Colors blending brush to apply that. So I realized that only when you like, kind of like go like this on the actual shadow it does have fallout but if you tap the shadow it doesn't have as much and it still picks the product so i see the best way to do it is just tap into it instead of going around and like 
and like a circular motion. That way you kind of don't waste as much product. So, okay, this one's pigmented. All right, all right. And then just in circular motions, blending that out. Back and forth, back and forth. And I'm gonna actually bring it up a little higher because since I am gonna be doing a cut crease, I know that I'm gonna end up carving out my lid a little higher to kinda, it just comes with age. I'm 21, la viejona. But I just feel like the older I do get, the more my freaking lids drop and crease. So it's just like, <sighs> So I have to like go ahead and go over my crease in order for it not to get like all fucked up once I open my eyes. So that's the reason why I'm actually bringing it a little higher. So that color kind of stays there. And it doesn't disappear once I create the cut crease. Going on to the other eye. So as you guys saw, dark brown, it's like a very chocolatey brown warm chocolatey brown that's the best way i could describe it it's a warm chocolatey brown it's hella pigmented because the first one was did not have me so happy the second one made me a bit happier and kind of like me contento for being unhappy for the first shadow and this third one's like really like okay like all right you're putting in work you know coming in like move bitches the first colors were warm up get it warm up their warm tone never mind and I'm kind of just like flickering out a bit because I already know I'm gonna do the cut crease so and then always 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 go back in with that same transition color i'm grabbing up just a little bit and i'm tapping it out and i'm going over the top make sure you have no harsh lines everything's nice and blended out if you want to go in with a little bit of black it would be more so for definition than for actually adding color but i think i'm fine so to carve out the cut crease, I will first at least to help you. I feel like this is going to help you make sure you stay in the guidelines. So I'm going to just go ahead and use a little bit of translucent powder to kind of clean up the edges. But also help me make that guideline that I'm going to need. So to cut the crease, I'm actually going to go ahead and use some MAC Select Cover Up. And the color that I will be using for today is um, NC30. So it looks like this, just a little MAC Select Cover Up. And I will be using a little flat synthetic brush and it is a Morphe M421. So MAC Select Cover Up and Morphe M421. These two to go ahead and carve the crease. And I'll just place a little bit right on my hand. And I'll start carving. So just grabbing a little bit of product and making sure, like I have my hands on the table. Just because I want to make sure I have all my balance and I don't like fuck it up because there's no going back after that. So. Sorry. Okay, so that's kind of like the first. And then I just kind of like fill it back in. And then do the same on the other side. And then what I like about the MAC Select Cover Up is that it's not thick. It's actually pretty thin. Um, You could layer it. But if, I mean personally, since I do have creases on my eyes, badly, um, I feel like if I were to use the paint pot, obviously it would work, 
but the paint pot is a bit thicker. The consistency of it is thicker, so that's why I prefer to use a uh, Max Select cover up because it's thinner, but it still covers and it still gives me that like coverage that I'm looking for. So once you feel like you have officially well carved out the the eyes, uh, now it's time to go in with the main color, and always make sure that you really don't use too much product as well because that also will increase your possibility of it creasing on you but it's a really thin consistency of it so it's not you know it might not but I just say play it safe and don't use too much and always since a little bit goes a long way use a little bit and always smear it out and blend everything outward and then just I normally like to just go in a, like right before going in with the color I like to go in with my finger just a little bit to kind of like get rid of anything that might have creased because the warmth of your finger does help it blend out a lot better and I'll maybe go in with maybe like a thinner brush and just ever so slightly clean up anything I see that I want to make sure that it's more of like a very sharp clean line because on the edges there will be There will be like a little bit of build up that you don't want to smear upward. I'd rather go in with a bit of translucent powder just ever so slightly to make sure I set it and ensure that I won't crease. Just a very thin amount. And so I have decided that I was not, after all, at first I wanted to go with the green look, but then I was like, you know what, I need a pop of something more. And that's actually why I wore green today, but I'm actually going to go with a, it's like a purple blue. So it is this color right here. So first I am going to try and use the little brush um, without wetting it and just see how that applies to kind of show you guys, I guess, as well. And then I'll go ahead and apply it with some Fix Plus and see which one works better. So going directly into the color, this one right here. And may I remind you guys, I have not dipped into my palette at all. Like this is literally the first time. So I don't exactly know how they work. So. Here we go. It definitely does look more purple on the eye. It does apply nicely without Fix Plus. But I'm pretty sure that once I get towards the edges where I have to be more precise, the little specks of fallout are not really going to work in my favor. So I just know already I'm going to have to wet it. Before I even forget, I could already see that this is going to have a bit of fallout. I am going to go ahead and place some translucent powder over me to ensure that I don't mess up my base since I already have that done just a little bit so I'm gonna try and wet it now okay I lied I'm not gonna use fix plus forgive me I'm gonna use some makeup forever mist and fix and just dump my little brush here see how that works oh yeah definitely more vibrant a lot more vibrant and it's definitely working better too. So all I did right now was kind of just um, do my wing offline. And now I'm just filling it in. I'll clean all that up. So since I did feel like I needed a little something more to pop out, for this cook grease, I went ahead and just put a little bit of Lime Crime Orchid Oasis, Orchid 
or today she is bella chingala um point is is i went ahead and added this the only thing is once i added this it started looking a little bit more blue so the shadow on the palette looks purple blue right and as i was applying it it looked purple and now that i'm seeing it on camera it looks blue and so I was like, oh, well, if it's a bit more purple, might as well go in with a purple liner and just define it out more, right? So it can look a bit more interesting. Uh, turns out now it looks blue and the liner looks purple. Oh, well. But point is, it is more on the purple fan. So I went ahead and already did one eye. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So with this, you really do want to make sure you're really careful. Because any little thing you fuck up and your whole look goes to waste. Y'all see my water? And for today's inner corner highlight, I will be using the same palette as well, obviously. And I think I'm going to go in with this one, this one right here. A Morphe M322 brush. So it's such a little, little tiny brush and just place it. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if I put a little bit of... That's more like it. For highlight, I will be going in with the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors collaboration. So this is a video full of collaborations, but I did review my last video on the whole collection. So if you want to go ahead and take the time and check that out after this clip, then please do so. So I am going in with an Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And I'm just grabbing some product. Tapping it out. For blush today, I actually want to go ahead and use something a bit more on the shimmer side than more so on the matte side, which is what I normally always go for. So today I will be using NARS Orgasm. And it is a very cute, like peachy with a bit of gold specks type of blush. So on that one, my cheeks. And then blend it upward. I'll just grab a big fluffy brush and I'll just kind of like blend everything. Make sure everything has like a seamless finish. And for the under eye, I did forget to mention that I basically used the same exact colors that I did on the crease. Well, on my eyes, I did the same exact thing under for my under eye. But the only difference is that I did add black um, to the bottom. So I added every color from the lightest to the darkest. And then I added black. Let's add lashes and lips. And I'll be right back. So for lips, I will be applying the Dose of Colors uh, Desi X Katie in more creamer, please. And they smell good. And to line the lips, I will be using a little bit of Max Spice Lip Liner. And I am kind of debating whether or not I want to top it off with their lip topper which is the dose x desi x katie in over the top should i i should i'm gonna oops too late already did uh mm -hmm. oh my god i love how this smells it smells delicious Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this completes the look for today on the review slash first impressions of the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. Um, I did go ahead and add a little bit of lower lashes. Uh, I just wanted to give it a little something extra. And I did go ahead and apply some clear brow gel on my brows. And I did go ahead and brush them upward just to get that kind of grungy, um, not so defined look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.
eyes, bitch. You better work. You better work. And then what I like to do at the very end, I'll just grab a big fluffy blush. Fluffy. I'll just grab a big fluffy brush and I'll just kind of like blend everything. 